What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In previous guides, I've always said update your graphics drivers, but for some manufacturers, it's a bit more difficult than others. In this video, I'll show you how to update your Intel HD graphics driver really easily on Windows 10 and 11. To start off, in the description down below, you'll find a link to this support page. Here, you can choose Get Started, and you can download the Intel Driver and Support Assistant, which should automatically update your graphics driver, as well as other things. I'll choose Download Now, save the file, and open it once it's done. You can click to open it, and inside of here, I'll agree and click Install. Then, if you want to join the improvement program, you can click Accept, or you can decline it, that's fine, and you can wait a few seconds for the installation to complete. This utility makes it really easy to automatically update graphics drivers, be it integrated or dedicated for Intel products, as you don't really need to worry about what you actually have, making it just a little bit easier. When you click Launch, it should open up a web page, and you can open this up with your regular browser. This is the Intel Driver Support Assistant. Here, it'll tell you what you currently have on your system and what can be updated. If there's no updates, you'll be told over here. Otherwise, it'll tell you that, hey, there's updates you can make. As you can see, Intel Arc and Iris XE graphics drivers can be updated, and I just need to choose Download over here to do so. Once I do so, if you have an Intel Arc GPU, you should get updated graphics drivers that easily. You can also choose Download Now to download and install multiple driver updates. Alternatively, heading across to Devices and Drivers on the side, we can see exactly what our system has. Down here under Graphics, you can see I've got Intel UHD Graphics or HD Graphics, and it tells you what current driver you have, as well as giving you an option to update your graphics driver by clicking this over here. If there's no option to update your graphics driver here, or for some reason, you need to just download and reinstall the graphics driver, that's fine. Make note of whichever graphics chip or card you have, as the name over here usually implies, oftentimes it has a number like Intel HD graphics followed by something a thousand. In my case, it's just UHD graphics. If I scroll up to the top where the search is in the top right and search for Intel HD graphics, you can see other numbers. You'd enter, for example, 4000 driver, but in my case, it's just Intel UHD graphics. So I'll search for that. And the first link should be a support for whichever your graphics card is here. You can choose this, scroll down, and usually near the very top, you'll find list of drivers for Intel graphics, for example, which you can click and it'll take you to a page where you can start updating your graphics drivers. Now, usually the first step is automatic, which we've already covered, or alternatively, method two, manually identify and download. You can scroll down, expand Windows 10, 11, 7 or 8, in my case 11, scroll down further, and we can download and install the correct graphics driver. The first is for Intel Arc and Iris XE, then it's for Intel 7th to 10th gen processors with integrated graphics, Intel 6th gen, Intel Arc, Intel Arc Pro, and that's really it. Now, if you're not too sure what you have, you can hit start, open up settings, and on the system tab over here, scrolling down to about at the very bottom, scrolling down further, it'll tell you what processor you have. I have an Intel i9-14900, meaning we're looking for in the 14th gen, but in my case, as that's not here, scrolling up, Intel 14th gen is listed under the Intel Arc and Iris graphics driver all the way up here, meaning this is what I'll need to download and install. We can click it, scroll down, and then choose download. Usually this is just a very simple exe, which you can just download, open, and your new graphics driver should be installed just like that. It's that easy. At the very top, if you're looking for a specific version, you can choose a version from this drop down here to get a slightly older version of anything's going wrong with the latest, you're looking for a specific fix or anything like that. Once you download the latest version, save. This downloads usually around one gig. Then once it's done opening it up, it'll immediately start extracting. And then shortly after, the actual installer will open, begin install. Your screen might go black a few times while you're installing this, which is fine. I'll click through this. You can do so as you see fit. You can customize if you wish. And then once you click start, your graphics drivers should be updated. When it's finally done, you may be prompted about restarting, in which case you might want to do so. But Jim, yeah, that's it. You now know how to update your Intel graphics drivers Hopefully this video helped you. Thank you for watching. Mine's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.